Next up, Cain Velasquez check coming. Initially, I was picking Gungo. Just based on all the hype that's been built around Velasquez, all the expectations that people are keeping on him. You know, this is his first... Uh, no, actually, it's not his first fight this, in a semi-slash co-main, is it? That fight with uh, Stoinich. It was on a fight night. I can't remember if it was... might have even been... Is it co-main? Anyway, well, this is a big step up in uh, uh, competition for him. So, <coughs> you know, that's going to play a lot into his performance, I'm sure. Plus, Congo took this on short notice. Uh, Congo's not, you know, he's got a lot of power, yeah, but is he going to knock out Cain Velasquez? I really don't think so. However, I do think Velasquez might, may well knock him out. I, this, the dynamic going into this fight is kind of like a, the Shane Carwin gave Gonzaga fight. Reminds me a lot of that, actually. You know, the undefeated up and comer who's got a lot of hype built around him is going against a more battle tested veteran who's not necessarily top five right now, but is looking to, you know, is on the brink of it. You know what I'm saying? The, 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 the dynamic going into this fight is exactly like Carmen Gonzaga was. But, and, and, and I kind of see this going the same way. I'm not saying that Velasquez is going to knock Congo out in the first round, but I do think that Velasquez is going to impress people and is probably going to win this fight in his first real fucking, you know, test under fire or whatever. So, Kane Velasquez over Chef Congo. Second round TKO is my official prediction. He fucking walks way too slow. Hurry up, goddammit. I ain't got all day. Actually, I do. Fuck. Fuck, man. I wasn't expecting that. Now, now I'm wondering about Velasquez's chin. Oh, full mount! Full mount, kick his ass! Fucking Frenchie, there you go! There you go! You better tap, motherfucker! You're French, you always tap! Get your hooks in, get your hooks in, Kane! He should have put fucking hooks on his back! There you go, you got one hook, get the other one! What the fuck, dude? Yeah, that's why he hasn't even fucking put his hooks in his back yet. Get your fucking hooks into his... What? Why is he not taking Congo's back? That's what I want to know. He's, he's exposing his back. He's just exposing his back, yeah. In more than one way, in this case, because you can see half his fucking underpants. But that's multiple times he could have got his hooks in. I don't, it's obvious, it's apparently a decision that he's making. Holy shit! Oh, he's gonna try a pile driver. Good rounds for Velasquez, man. Oh, damn! Oh, knees to the body. Damn, another round, good round for Velasquez. Yeah, well, round three's gonna start on the feet. Oh God, Ariane! Oh, she's so fucking hot. Roger Winter to ruined her. God damn it! Fuck, dude, watch your chin. Jesus Christ! Oh, oh, oh! Chad Congo, Kane Velasquez. You're gonna have to watch me eat again. Sorry, but it's it's past beer o'clock now, and I'm a, I'm about to get to down to the serious business of getting fucking plastered. So I gotta eat first. Uh, Kane Velasquez, Chad Congo. What a telling fight concerning both guys. Um, 
Cain Velasquez looked good in his control, his positioning, and his ground pound. Rogan went a little overboard with the this isn't hurting Chet Congo bullshit. Because judging by how his nose exploded in the second round, I think it hurt him. It didn't finish him. It didn't really look on the verge of finishing him. But it was a good ground pound. It wasn't as weak as Rogan was making it sound. But yeah, Velasquez looked pretty good, like I thought he would, but we saw some weakness there too in the stand up and getting rocked those two times. But I did like the fact that even after he got rocked, the start of the starting of the second, he didn't look scared at all. The starting of the third, after getting rocked again, he didn't look scared at all. A lot of guys will see him kind of lose their you know, heart after they get loopy. But Velasquez is apparently, you know, for real. And this did turn out to be the coming out party that I thought it was going to be. Just not quite as, you know, spectacular as I figured it would be. Still damn good win for Velasquez, so. Uh, Congo, he needs some work, especially on the ground. We kind of saw that against Harry. It was a lot worse here. So good win for Velasquez. It's time to start talking about him up there, too. A lot of contenders, or not contenders, but names getting, getting up there in the ranks thanks to this, uh, this card. The main event. Rich Franklin, Vanderlei Silva. This is a fight that I vacillated on and waffled back and forth more than any other fight in recent memory for me personally. Because there's so many factors here. Uh, Rich Franklin is a far superior, you know, orthodox boxer. But Vanderlei Silva's got that crazy monkey swing from the hips fucking berserker style that... It, it doesn't matter how fucking sound you are. If he if he gets inside and gets and has his way with you, you're gonna lose. The question is, how conservatively will Franklin fight? How conservatively will Vanderlei fight? More importantly, because there there's a point between going berserker, being aggressive, and being stupid. Is Vanderlei gonna you know cross that line? That's a big big fucking factor going into this fight. But Riz Franklin, I, he's not this big fucking knockout power that everybody seems to think he is. He had that knockout in Nate Query. Uh, TKO over Ken Shamrock, I think. Was that a knockout or a TKO? I know he didn't knock him, you know, it wasn't a go-to-sleep knockout, but... Yeah, he's not... That straight, that fucking left that put Query to sleep, that... Put, a, put an impression in a lot of people's minds that uh, I think may be fallacious. I don't think it's, uh, I don't think he's going to knock out Vanderlei Silva. That's another thing. Too many people are putting too much stock into Vanderlei's knockout losses. Okay, he got knocked out by Grokop with the LHK, which will put anybody to sleep. Then he got knocked out by Hendo, which is nothing to be ashamed of. And then he got knocked out by uh, Rampage in their third event. And sandwiched in there was the fight with Chuck, the fight with Keith Thurdeen. Which he looked decent in both of those. But people were looking at those three knockout losses and, and kind of questioning Vandy's chin now. Before that, before that Krokop knockout, nobody questioned Vanderlei's chin. Now people are acting like it's made of glass, you know what I'm saying? Uh... But yeah, I don't see Franklin knocking Vanderlei out. Uh, I think it's going to be a fucking badass fight. It could either uh, end really early or go the distance. If it goes past the first, I think it'll probably go to a decision. One way or another, I'm calling it to Vanderlei Silva. Davis Hardy is starting right now, and I'm still flapping my fucking gums. And I haven't even finished his burger yet. So, I'm going to start watching the fights now. 